Hi guys, it's Nicole Costa, and today I want to give you a few quick tips on eating out at a restaurant and staying on track with your goals. Number one is the first thing that they're going to ask you when you're at the table. What do you want to drink? Order water. You're going to save calories, chemicals, and money by doing this. If you need some extra flavor, ask for some extra lemon wedges to flavor your water. Number two, either skip the bread basket or have a slice if you're starving and deduct some of those calories from your entree. Maybe have a few less bites of your starch on your entree platter because you had the bread. So remember, it's all about balance, not extreme restriction. Number three, eat naked. And I'm talking about your food, all right? So if you can, ask for dressings, sauces, butter, oil, all that on the side of your entree or salad. Um, sometimes the biggest pitfall in a woman's diet can be salad dressing. Doesn't mean that you don't have to eat it, but make sure it comes on the side. So I always use the fork dip method, which is I dip the fork in the dressing and then I take a bite of the salad. So you still get the flavor of the dressing without your salad being bathed and covered in the dressing. Okay, so you can still have the flavor. What I actually get at almost every time I go out to a restaurant is a Caesar salad with a protein on the side. Uh, that could be chicken, salmon, my favorite, and I'd have that grilled. But I know Caesar salad can be high in fat and calories, but the way that I use the fork dip method, I only use a very tiny bit of dressing by the time the salad is gone. So it's just enough to flavor it. Also, I always send my salad back if the dressing is on the salad already, because I know I have pre-ordered it on the side, so that would be a mistake in the kitchen. Don't be afraid to send your salad or food back if they have messed up your order that you know you ordered correctly. Number four, if you have a little extra time to prepare, check out the menu online. If it's a restaurant you've never been to and you don't know what they're serving, check out some options so that you know ahead of time kind of where you're gonna go with your order so you don't feel stressed when they're asking you and you haven't even seen anything on the menu. Have a game plan so you'll be ready when they do ask you what your order will be. Number five, I know this sounds crazy, but never go to a restaurant hungry or hangry. You always want to eat a little something before you get there. Remember, it takes time to drive to the restaurant, it takes time to order, it takes time for the food to be delivered to your table. So if you are hungry before you leave the house, you're going to be starving by the time that food gets to your table. Plan ahead and have a little snack, usually a little protein snack, maybe an apple with a little bit of peanut butter or some kind of something to hold you over just to take the edge off so you don't starve when you get there and make a poor choice. Number six, and probably the most important, enjoy the company, enjoy the people you're with. Put your cell phone away. That is a huge pet peeve of mine is seeing people on their cell phones at the dinner table. I'll do another video on that later. But right now, just enjoy the people you're with, make eye contact, engage with them, ask questions, get to know somebody better. Dining out is not all about the food, it's about the company and about people and relationships. So I hope these six quick tips have helped you and next time you'll be prepared when you go to a restaurant so that you can stay on track with your goals and reach those goals. I would love to hear what kind of choices you make when you go out to eat that keep you on track with your goals. Any restaurant hacks you have for me? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.